So I'll show you how to replace the front pads on this VW. Now the lift point to get the wheel off the ground will be right here. And we'll put a jack stand there for additional safety. Now these are custom wheels with anti-theft lugs. This is the key to remove the lugs. So it's not a standard lug. This is a 19 millimeter socket. So see how unique this lug is? This is a brake retention spring, so you just take a screwdriver and pry it off. There's like a little hole here to seat the spring. There. Now if you notice right here, these pads are on its last leg, so maybe two millimeters of brake pad left in here. Now the outer caliper that mounts on the caliper bracket, you have these little plastic plugs that you pull out and pull this cap off. Use a number seven hex socket to loosen the bolt that holds the caliper caliper bracket. Okay, just loosen that up. Loosen up the bottom one. Then I'll use my electric ratchet to make it go faster. You don't have to take the bolts all the way out. Just make sure they're threaded off the caliper bracket. Now the caliper is unbolted from the caliper bracket. Basically wiggle this off. Now the inner pad, which shows a lot of pad life compared to the outer pad, is clipped into the caliper piston. So using my fingers, There we go. So now I'm going to use my piston compression tool. We'll just apply initial tension on it and then we'll go check the fluid level to make sure it doesn't overflow. So I'll pop the hood. So there's the fluid level. We shouldn't have a problem with overflow. So this is my piston compression tool, and I'll just slowly screw this down to apply gradual pressure on the piston. This particular tool is really designed for dual piston calipers, but you can use it on single piston. These pads have anti-friction plates here and prevents brake squeal, so there's no need for lubrication where the pad contacts the caliper piston. Now, these springs have to be compressed. Try to get them in like this. There. So now it's in. Now you can clean up the contact surfaces where the ears of the pad slides on the caliper bracket. So these are the contact points. Apply a little bit of brake grease right here. Just to make sure you don't get it on the rotor. Here's the new pad for the outside. Now you push the, the caliper bolt, recess it with the bushing here. And then you just line it up. Make sure this ear goes on the caliper bracket mounting point. And then you'll have to wiggle the caliper a little bit to get the caliper bolt lined up. Okay, I can feel the threads caught. I'll use my electric ratchet wrench. Now put on the caps, the protective caps for the bolts. Kit came with a new caliper spring. You put the bottom in. Apply tension on this spring and clip it over to this other side for the caliper bracket. So I first get it into this hole right here. 
Okay, so we got it over. Some light taps. And we're good. Now with European designs, the hub doesn't have a stud for the wheel, so you have to line up the hole on the wheel hub with the hole in the wheel to mount the lug in. I'm sitting on a chair, and I lift the wheel over, and then use my feet to support the wheel. Just get that first lug started. Now I can put the rest of the lugs in. So we'll drop the wheel down just a little bit so that the wheel won't move. So I'm going to torque these lugs down at 82 foot pounds. And don't forget to pump the brakes. Just don't put it in drive and take off. And we're done.